the third annual health fair by the Belize National Library Service and Information Service was held today at the Leo Bradley Library in Belize City. It is being held under the theme, Being Healthy is Our Responsibility, and seeks to promote healthy eating habits and lifestyles for better and longer living. As an information service provider, Senior Library Assistant Shana Vaccaro says that they decided to get experts to speak on Ebola and chikungunya. We are an organization that provides information, and so we decided to bank on this and to invite schools and have persons who are more knowledgeable about the disease to come and bring their information, to depart their information to students. No. I know that there are several presentations that are ongoing. Um, tell us about those presentations uh, as well as what we see outside in the on the grounds. No? Okay, we have Dr. Hugh Sanchez who is doing a presentation on the chikungunya and the Ebola. And that will continue throughout the day. Um, and this fair is from 10 until 3 this evening. So anybody can come out? It's for the general public. Throughout the day, several schools attended the presentations and visited the various health booths that were stationed on the library compound. According to Pedro Garcia, he found it necessary to bring his third and fourth year science class at Canaan High School because the students are currently working on presentation on Ebola and Chick V. I felt that it was very important for them because um, living healthy is a choice. And as the team for, for this, uh, this whole National Library uh, uh, team this year is living healthy is your choice. So I thought that, you know, these people need to be informed as well. And as students, they are the basis of their home. So if the students are involved, that means that you can get to the other parts of the community, their parents, and their brothers, sisters, and so on. And so then um, by living healthy, well, we, you know that Belize, want, we want to be a very healthy nation. No, there was this big scare with the Ebola and chikungunya. And, um, of course, you guys are part of this presentation. Are they aware of what it is all about, or is this what it's teaching them, you know? Okay, that's a nice question. Um, right now, the students are having a presentation on uh, Ebola and chikungunya, and all of these uh, the common diseases that are here. I believe that the, the presentation was very informative, and now they know a little bit more about it, and they're not that scared about it because then they're more informed. Because then, uh, well, the Ebola uh, issue and so on, it's not really, well, it's not here in Belize as yet, but uh, we need to be informed about what, what the virus is all about. The students were able to take several tests, and for Kaya Bevans, she learned so much and found the experience to be very informative. I'm learning about my health and what to eat and what not to eat and my diet, and it's very, very important. It's a, um, I eat a lot of fast food and I eat a lot of vegetables, so I want to know if it was important to eat both of them. And apparently it's, it's important and also it's not healthy for me, so I learned that I should cut back on the fast food. No, there's a lot of information that you're getting outside as well as inside uh, from the presentation on Ebola and chikungunya. What is it that, you, that maybe you thought you knew about it or what? you were told about it but now realize that oh, okay you know what it's not that bad of a disease or a virus you know because it's not here in Belize. Well um, upstairs in the presentation I learned that a lot of people cover up and wear all sorts of stuff to protect themselves from the Ebola but naturally it, it doesn't help at all to protect yourself because Ebola is something that you can catch like so quickly and the mask doesn't protect you at all. Will you be taking this information maybe to your friends to at home, to your family, you know, let them know as well, you know, what you've learned? Yes, sir. Dwayne Moody for News 5.